to LRC's kitchen. Today I'm going to make a kind of an onion chutney which uh, is not only simple, very traditional, uh, it has so many uses. You can use it as a base for a sandwich, you can use it with roti, you can use it with upma, you can use it as a side dish with rice, you can use it as a main dish with rice, you can do whatever. You can use it in so many, many ways and it's very simple to make. The ingredients basically are onion, red chili, curry leaves and tamarind. This is the base. Now what I'm going to do is I've cut about four medium sized onions into pieces. I've cut them into small pieces. You don't have to cut them into small pieces because it's going into the grinder. I've taken a fair amount of curry leaves and a small orange or a big lemon size of tamarind soaked in water. Now what I'm going to do is first light the stove, use a fair amount of oil which is about maybe six to seven tablespoons of oil, about maybe even 200 ml of oil. This is like a pickle so it's going to last a long time which by definition means it will consume a lot of oil. Now as this is getting heated up, I take a mixie. First, I have soaked red chilies. The idea of soaking red chilies is that now when they get grinded, you will find that the seeds do not come out and they get into a good paste. Then I am putting all the tamarind that I have. Some haldi. Fair amount of curry leaves go into it. I'm going to now grind it. Into this mixture of this consistency, I will now put the entire onion and get it to a mix. This will be the consistency of the paste. Now what I am going to do is add a few, very few methi seeds into the oil. Then cumin seeds and Jira. Some more curry leaves. And now I will add this tamarind paste into this masala. Before that, Allow this mix to come to a good cook. The entire raw taste will have to go. Now what I did was I forgot to add salt. So what I am going to do is I have some more of the mix. I have taken crystal salt therefore I will have to get it ground. I am putting the required amount of salt, salt to taste, back into the mixie. Now I am adding this remaining mixture into this. Ensure that the entire paste goes into it. And this mixture will now simmer for at least 15 to 20 minutes for the entire rawness in the onions to go. 
The onion chutney is ready and as I told you it can go with anything and today I am presenting it with pesaretu which is another typical Andhra dish. It's uh, kind of a dosa made with a lot of moong, uh, sometime about it later maybe but uh, here's the onion chutney, hope you like it. Do send in your responses, thank you very much uh, Datu and Abhinav for technical support, uh, hope you like it, do send in your